Tune in. Hey you guys, this is Paris from the Diva Hustle Show. Um, this morning, um, I had I'm doing my meditation. I get up in the morning, I do my meditation and my prayers, and um, God and Spirit asked me to talk to you guys about my journey into entrepreneurship and how I um I dealt with facing fear, how I dealt with obstacles and trying changing my mindset. Um. So when I first started um, working with a company, I was dating this guy. We've been together for a few years, probably over five years at the time. And um, he was saying like, oh, you know, I want to start my own company. And so he like, oh, yeah, you know, my brother, me, my brother and my friends, so we're going to go start our own company. So we were on the phone one night and I remember I was like, so he was going down everybody rolls. And, you know, as because you think that you are, um, y'all in a relationship, you instantly think, especially like over five years you've been dating, you instantly think that you're um you're going to be a part of it, right? So during the conversation, I was like, yeah, you know, so where I fit in it? And he was like, where you fit in it? Did you send me your resume? I have to see where you qualify, what you qualify to do. And right then and there, it was just like, oh, wow. Like, okay. So I was... One day I was driving, uh, driving to work, and God was like, "Start, start your own business." And I remember I was just like, "Start my own business, okay." Um, so I ran it past uh two of my friends at the time, um, and I was like, "You know what? I think I'm gonna start my own business, like my own home care business." And they were like, "You know what? I think that's an excellent idea. Like, why wouldn't you?" So I told them what happened. So moving forward, I go through start my own business, um, doing my LLC incorporation, all that, all that good stuff, the paperwork, and then I run into another roadblock. Well, okay, I started home, a home care business, and so next thing you know, you have to have policies and procedures, and then you have to submit this paperwork to the state. And so I'm like, okay, all right, I got, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't know anything about writing policies and procedures. Like I have my master's and everything like that, so talking to a couple of friends, um, I was like, they they were like, listen, just this, this, this lawyer, you know, they'll help you as a firm. They'll help you start your home care business and everything like that. Met with the lawyer and, you know, he was like, okay, I need 10,000. I'm like, 10,000? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I don't, you know, my mind just was like, oh my goodness. So talking to um family and friends again i tell them my my mom i tell my that idea like you know i want to start my own home care business you know this this money right here is just not enough to take care i'm a single mama too it's just not enough so they helped me with the initial down payment of um you know to getting starting my home care business and then next thing you know the company that i was working for at the time mm, i get fired they find out that i had started my own company and they're like oh okay you want to start your own company where well, you're fired you're no longer able to um, provide services and like I haven't even been approved yet like to even be open in that in the state that I was living in to even start a home care business but just the fact that they were like oh you want to be better or you you know you think you could do a better job than us or there's no way that you know you're going to be able to assist you know be able to obtain financial wealth so we're going to instantly stop you right there. And most people be like, oh, my goodness, when they get to that roadblock, they be like, oh, my God, you know, I can't do that. I got kids. I got mortgages. I got rent. I got car note. I can't do that, you know. And instantly, most people would have just stopped and just like, I can't take it no more. But me, I just kept per persevering. I just kept going. I kept pushing. And trust me, it was many a nights that, you know, I spent on the floor crying, you know what I mean, asking God, like, how am I going to get through this? And, you know, God always made a way, you know, like, and that's the thing, like, when you hit those, my point is, is when you hit those roadblocks, when you hit those barriers, you still have to push through. If God put it in your head, the idea, you're supposed to take that idea, that's the desire, you're supposed to bring it and push it out and, and put it, bring it into the real world. You don't let fear stop you from anyone. And, you know, and you just, you, it's not going to, People say, some people say, oh, it's supposed to be easy. Oh, you know, if it, if I'm hitting this roadblock, I'm getting this setback, it's setback, it's supposed to be easy. This is not meant. No, all of that setback, setbacks and roadblocks, that all build character to your story. 
And when you be able to come over, overcome those obstacles, which I understand that builds strength, that builds character. And that's, you have, you, again, you're further and along in your journey. And, you know, eventually my business, it was, it was tough. Struggling financially a few months, we, I struggled. And eventually we end up, I end up opening up my first company. And from there, I just been opening up companies and companies, but it was, it's important for me to, people that walk my walk of life, especially being a single mom, a mama too, is that people being able to understand like you can do it. You know what I mean? Don't let fear get, get you in the way. So, you know, I wanted to jump and just give you guys some tips. And, you know, if you're thinking about starting your own business, what you want to do first, you want to identify your fear, right? Why am I having this fear? Identify it. Is it a fear of failure? I mean, we all fail. You know what I mean? Um, is a fear of, of judgment, people gonna judge you regardless. You know what I mean? Whether you're doing good or you're doing bad, people gonna always talk. So talk about what that fear is. Identify it, and 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 then you're able to say, you know what? That's that's nothing. The next thing is you want to embrace your growth mindset. That's what I had to learn. I had to embrace that I was growing as a person. That. I